Hello and welcome to the lunchtime look north. The red arrows are grounded with no date for when they can fly again. It's after a Hawk jet, the same type used by the Reds, crashed in Cornwall. The crew ejected and escaped with minor injuries. But despite all the odds stacking up against the Lincolnshire-based display team, some experts are putting money on them still appearing at this year's summer air shows. Crispin Rolf has more. Lincolnshire's Red Arrows, overnight, grounded by this. We heard a really loud bang. There was two men parachuting out of a jet. A Royal Navy Hawk T1 crash in Cornwall yesterday. They've had suspected engine failure. The two pilots have ejected. They're being checked for medical injuries. There's nothing more to it than that at the moment. But that plane is exactly the same jet used by the Reds, who are currently on training in Wales. There was an accident yesterday of the Hawk T1, as we know, down in Keldrose. Uh, it's... Quite customary, frankly, when there's an accident like that initially to ground all the fleet. And so the old Hawk T1s, both the Cold Rose and the Red Arrows. But that's not going to impact their summer display season. No, I can't imagine that it would unless there is something that's really seriously wrong with the whole fleet of aircraft. This is, however, bad timing. The government's just started a defence spending review, which has difficult decisions to make about the Red Arrows and just how long they can continue to pilot their current plane. It's very unlikely, very unlikely, that at this stage of the game, they're going to discover some catastrophic fault. It's more likely that they find some issue that requires extra maintenance, extra inspection, which would mean that in due course, they could fix it and get the planes back in the air for you know this summer. For now, though, the Ministry of Defence is still to confirm exactly when the Red Arrows will return to our skies. Crispin Rolf, BBC Look North.